Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Frostpunk. So, we have completed a new home, and there's only five more to go. <laughs> we have the Arcs, the Refugees, the Fall of Winter Home, the Last Autumn, and On the Edge. Now, these last two, I have not touched at all. The Fall of Winter Home, I remember doing a little bit of. Um, the refugees, I remember doing maybe a week's worth of time in it, and the arcs, I think I've done like half of the time in it, but I can't really remember what happens in any of them. Um, I think there's something to do with seeds in the arc. Oh yeah, price the seed and plant specimens <laughs> from the eternal winter. <laughs> that won't help. I 110% did not read that. Anyway. With, um, obviously, Frostpunk 2 coming out at some point this year. Um, Alpha 5 of Ostrov coming out at some point this year. I don't have unlimited time to play Frostpunk before other stuff comes out. And I've also got um, Timberborn and Banished to start playing as well. Because I love building and city simulators and that kind of stuff. So, we're going to do... We're going to be playing through multiple of these at the same time, and I will kind of like stagger the uploads as we go. But without further ado, let's rock and roll with the arcs. As the brightest minds of Oxford and Cambridge, we have been sent to save priceless seed and plant specimens from the eternal winter. Do we have what it takes to keep the seedlings alive? Probably not. We have been chosen to safeguard a priceless treasure, the seeds and seedlings of plants from all over the world. They've been deposited in the seedling arcs to stop them from freezing, but it falls to us to build a city to protect these precious buildings until the winter ends, however long that may be. The only way to do this is with automatons. We'll ensure the green earth is reborn, even if we aren't there to witness it. Right, let's rock and roll. Remember something about arcs, obviously, and something about building bridges. I'm not entirely sure whether the bridges part is actually this one or another one of the uh, storylines. Factory plans. We've reached the generator site and the seedlings are safely stored in the seedling arcs. We're supposed to deploy automatons to make the city ugh, make sure the city can run itself. No matter the weather, but transport carrying the factory plans were lost in the blizzard. We need to build a beacon and send a team to search for them. Righto. Right. Let's just have a pause for just a moment and get our bearings before we blow everything up. Preserve the seedlings. We must ensure the seedling arcs don't freeze. Yep. All the seedlings and many tropical seeds are very sensitive to the cold if the temperature drops below chili for too long its precious content will be irreversibly damaged oh bugger right so we can't go further than that we have limited amount of space uh okay so we need to build do we have houses no we don't have houses and we don't even have the beacon right okay that's going to be four. Okay, so we need dual engineers. Okay, interesting. Uh, we need coal and we need wood. We need 25 wood to build an infirmary, which is very important. And we need to turn this on pretty sharpish. Okay, we're going to have to build another one of those because it's only taken out. Oh, no, we won't. It's real. It's real. We will have to build another one of those. Okay, I'm going to build the house first and then the infirmary. Right, let's tuck that in there and then we can build the other stuff around the other side if we need it. And I think we can probably go ahead. Let's do that. But I'm going to pop that out here. Actually, I'm going to give some, them some space in case we need to put a heater there. Do that and then we will do the cookhouse around the outside somewhere. I don't really want to do it. I suppose I can yeah, I can do it there. That's fine, that's fine. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. So I think we have enough people. I think we have enough. Sorry, I mean, I think we have enough coal. So as always, we'll try and get through. Normally, we target about four days ish in there, so I lose track of what I'm doing. Uh, but basically, for this one, that's a good marker. We'll go until the temperature drops. Well, no one's ill, so we don't have to hire any medical people yet. Coal is fine. 18 hours. That'll see us through until the morning. That's fine. Right. Let's take a few people off of logs. That'll be fine. And let's push on through till morning. Uh, I think we're going to take a few more people off the vlogs. Or wood, I should say. Leave five on there and then we'll do five into the workshop. And we will instantly do the beacon because we need people and stuff. There is indeed plenty to do. Right, that's getting researched in six hours. So that'll be midday and... Hopefully, I can't remember how much we need to build a beacon, but hopefully it will be enough resources to do that. We've got quite a lot of stuff laying around, so I think once we get more people, we should be doing okay. Oh, we can have the automaton searching thing, can't we? Should we have you doing steel? Seeing as there's no one else on it. That would make sense, because you're not building anything at the moment, so... <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine how ineffective that actually is. <laughs> right. How expensive are you, buddy boy? Oh, you are not at all. Right. Let's build you on the back of that. You don't cost nothing. And let's have the guy go and do that. Come on. Hop the over there. Stop digging for steel. Get your ass over to there and build that thing for me. Uh, right. What are we likely to need first? Is it worth doing that? It is worth doing that. Let's do that. 53 left, 179. That's fine. That's about a day. Perfect. We are, gain we are gaining more than we are using. Lovely. And I'm going to have to take off those people to put them on the beacon. Why are you not at the f f f f f Alright, go back on that then. Because you can work during the night. Well, you never have to stop really, but... <laughs> Right, it's going to cost us five people to set up a beacon. We're no longer lost and blind. From now on, our people will be able to survey the ice barrens or surround us at the frost land. Oh, wow. Is that the storm coming in already? Jeez, that's rough. Right, we need to build a crew, don't we? We need 40 wood. Okay, do you want to go and get off that? And do you want to... Oh, God. That's nearly dead already. Wonderful. Storm on the horizon. Captain, with the beacon operational, we can clearly see the storm approaching us from the south. I thought it was the storm. It's still somewhere away, but we better keep an eye on it and make sure we have the infrastructure needed to heat the arch before it hits. Oh, no. I have a feeling that is not going to go well. Not gonna lie, they are pretty awesome looking buildings. They are pretty awesome looking buildings. I'm not entirely sure why they're in the air because surely that would allow more cold air under them. You know, I'm not an engineer, but you would have thought. Right, let's make that and off you go. 16 hours, jeez. Oh yeah, you don't have any of the upgrades yet, do you? <laughs> That would make sense. Right, come off of that. Um, what do we need? 
need wood. You are researching. Right, in that case, go and continue on. Oh, that wasn't you. Oh. <laughs> right. Go and continue on that, and then the rest of you can go on the steel. And then the automaton can go and do those wooden crates over there once they're done. And our uh, scouts. Oh, research done. Our scouts is going to be arriving in four hours, right? What shall we do with you? Is the question. What are we likely to need? I think probably bunkhouses, I would say. Is the uh, Book of Laws the same? It is the same. Maybe we might actually get some uh, non religious stuff as a uh, alternate Book of Laws. I really don't mean to keep opening that. Hey, they've arrived. Abandoned supplies. Our supplies are covered in snow and ice. They seem undamaged, but we'll have to dig them out to be sure. Steam cores and steel. Nice. Recovered treasure. We spent hours hacking it at the ice for, to free our supplies, but we did it. We were forced to abandon them once, but we won't to do. That's my dyslexia at work. <laughs> I can't read that for crap. We were forced to abandon them once. Do it again. Doing it again would be unforgivable. My God. <laughs> that was atrocious. Uh, broken automaton. Oh, hello. See what it looks like cave entrance in the mountainside. Yeah, I'm going to go for the broken automaton. Large snow dune covers a broken automaton that we've left behind during our journey from Britain. Hell yeah. Let's go and grab that. If we have a second automaton, that'd be brilliant. Bundle up. It's getting colder. So it's day four and the temperatures drop. And normally I would end the video there. However, quite frankly, I don't think we've done much in the first few days. And I've only been recording for 15 minutes, so I'm gonna carry on. Only the top of the automation is sticking out of snow, dinging out will take some effort, but it should be worth it. 110%. My function repair, this automation was left when it broken down. Thankfully, we've managed to dig it out and fix it. Now we can send it fully operational to the city. Wonderful. Do you want to head on back, I think? Oh, it's the main vehicle for my expedition. Okay. Do you want to head to that? The automation can come back to the city, and then you can go to the dreadnought and then come back 110 percent bunk house is complete wonderful uh, what is else is worth doing i think oh 30 raw food per day that sounds nice i swear that wasn't what we were getting when we had it in uh, a new home a new hope new home new I genuinely can't remember already. <laughs> it's been like a week since I played that storyline and I can't remember the name of it already. That's terrible. I'm a 27 year old with the brain capacity of a 90 year old. Ceiling arcs might freeze, Captain, in a few days temperature will drop. Our ceiling arcs will be in danger. We have to keep them warm with heaters or steam hubs. Right-o. Not a problem. In that case, we need to stock up like hell on coal because we're going to be running through it like mental. Okay, the scouts are about to arrive at their new location. And then they can head on back with whatever they collect. I don't care what else they find. They're coming back. Oh my giddy knickers. Our expedition's main vehicle left hopelessly wasted in a crevasse. Exploring it will be difficult, but we have to find the factory plans that might be on board. The search might provide steam cores, steel, coal, wood, and there might be technology. Awesome. Factory plans. We repelled down the crevice, looking, listening to the ominous sounds of ice creaking under the weight of the steel behemoth. After an hour or so of searching, we found the documents safe and retrieved the factory plans. We must get them to the city as fast as possible. The weather is getting worse by the minute, and we need the automaton to secure the city and ceiling arcs before the storm hits. Yes, we do, and I don't care what we found. 
Oh, I, I don't mean the items. I don't care for these. I'm just going to read them, but... <laughs> This place is the only thing standing out in the endless white desert. Well, it's obviously not the only thing that stands out in this endless white desert. If there's two things, is it now? Logic. Right. Get your asses back to this city. Yep, we have indeed found the factory plans. And we need to research. Once they are completed, uh, we need to research the heaters. But food is just as important at the moment. Uh, right. We have enough. Where are my workers? Oh, they're over here. I'm going to put five of you on there. There we go. Heal them up and then you can come off and go back to work. Not that you're not working there, but you know what I mean. Right, 13 hours to come back, 16 hours for the automaton. Not bad. It is going to drop down temperature again tomorrow, though. Which kind of sucks. 19 hours. Okay, that won't be till tomorrow. So I've lost 10 people because five people are ill, or four people are ill. Hot house. Right. Let's put it smack bang next to the ceilings. Yes, I know steam cores. They'd be precious and all. Right. Give me a heaters. Uh, oh, actually, do we need one level and one coal per hour? Three coal per hour, but they do the surrounding area. So, are we going to be putting anything? Uh, well, to be fair, we're not really ready to put anything next to that. And it'll be one coal per hour or nine between the three. Yeah, let's let's do the heaters. <laughs> let's do the heaters. Right, five hours to come back. And they are coming back with a crap ton of stuff. Hopefully, we can go and have a look. Maybe there's people in. Uh, hopefully, yes, we can. Ooh. Now, I don't know what... I, I can't remember the factory part of this, so I have no idea what I can build. And we have our second automaton. Wonderful. Right, what are we low on? Uh, do you want to get rid of that for me? Okay. And actually, I'm going to come off of that. Put 10 of you on there and the rest of you can go back on there. There we go. And you're not going to come off and go on there. Right, what are we making? Automatons. Actually, we'll produce one automaton with 100 steel, 100 wood, 50 coal, and one steam core. Oh, no, they cost steam cores. Of course they do. We have five of them. Okay, I'm not going to do that at the moment. Because the two that we have, the two that we have is enough for me. Yeah, the two that we have is enough for me. And the temperature is about to go down again, so that will be minus 40, back up to 30, down to 40, back up to 30. Okay, not too bad. And how long do we have until the storm comes? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, we have people who are ill again. God damn it. Oh, we're about to get our four workers back who were originally ill. Nice. Yay, we've got them all back. And everyone else can go to treatment. Perfect. Righto then. Oh dear. Yeah, well, I'm researching. There we go. Right. Stay warm, chaps. Stay warm. Stay warm. Stay warm. Did that go back up? Please say that goes back up. <laughs> oh, it does. It just takes a while. Right. Oh, well, it is day six. It is minus 40, and I've been recording for nearly half an hour. So, that is the beginning of the arc. As always, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support, and I'll see you in the next one.